Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to be demoing a new application that I've been using to create music for the most recent episode of Tiny Tales, the podcast that I produce and compose music for. So this application was created by Juan Park. It's really cool. Um, he explains it better than me, but uh, one thing that I think that's really cool about it is that it sort of creates an audio analog to a visual supercut. So a supercut is like those really fast um, montages that you see in commercials and movies and stuff. And this creates sort of an audio version of that. Now, um, he does a much better job of explaining how that works. And I will link to his page on his website where you can download the application and watch him use it, um, which is what I did to sort of get an introduction on how to learn this. Um, so let me first show you what I did. So first thing you got to do is download the application and download Super Collider, which is a programming audio platform. And that's what this runs on and both are free, which is amazing. So download Super Collider um, and then open up the SIOE software, which is the name of the application in question. Uh, simple is opposite of easy, I think is the, the name of the program. So we're gonna run that and then Super Collider is gonna open and we're gonna go to the menu, go to language, go to evaluate file and that will open SIOE itself. And then what we're gonna do is drag either a wave or an AIF file right into this panel here. And what I did is I recorded this little pentatonic thing. Here's a little bit of it. And so on. It's about 40 seconds long. So I'm going to do, 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 drag that recording into the application and then you can just sort of start playing around. And again, watch Juan Park's video on how, you know, what these different parameters mean. I, I have a vague intuitive sense of what they do and I'm gonna demonstrate that a little bit. So yeah, I, I made that recording and ran it through here. And let's just mess with some of these parameters. So repeats is essentially the amount of time that the audio file will be divided by. So let's change that to 40 and then the BPM, the tempo, that is the number of times that division will be, or the not the number of times, but the speed at which these divisions will occur. Um, so 120 BPM actually isn't that fast. Let's actually go to 800. Um, and then hit length is actually how long each of those repetitions will be, I believe. So let's see what this sounds like. And then you have two options really quick. You have, um, you can make a long version, which is sort of what I just described, or you can hit this button, start short sound. And that's essentially gonna be um, the totality of the sound file compressed into a short span of time, which is really cool. Let's start with playing around with the start long sound button, because that's what I used for this episode of Tiny Tales. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. And then if I hit start short sound, you can barely hear it, but it's like this little hit and it's just the totality of the audio file that I dragged in, um, sort of pared down to based on these parameters. Listen to it again, it's kind of soft. <laughs> so it's basically just a pentatonic um, pentachord. That's what you're hearing right there. Okay, so let's let's play with these parameters a little bit more. Um, let's just max them out. 100 divisions, 100 repeats, I should say. Um, let's hear what this sounds like. So that's pretty cool. And then the short version of that. Oops. Well, the long version is still going. Oh, and real quick, make sure that you don't have record at start checked until you, you have a sound that you really like, because when you have that checked after you start the sound, it will actually create an audio file for you 
to use. So here's that short sound again. Let me crank that up. So basically sounds the same as the one from before. Um, okay, let's do, let's try to make one that sounds a little bit more rhythmic. So I'm actually gonna do 200 BPM with 500 repeats and we're gonna do a few different hit lengths. Let's hear what this sounds like. So you can hear it almost has its own rhythm now. Let's play with a few other hit lengths because that will sort of dictate how that um, that sort of newly formed triangle waveform is going to breathe. It's going to dictate how that that file or the, the waveform breathes. So let's go up to ten with that length. Let's kind of let's do one in the middle here now. So, you know, if you're, if you're playing around with this and you say, oh, I really like that one, then hit record at start and hit one of these, whichever, whichever sound you want. So I want this sound, so I'm gonna hit this and I'm gonna let it play out for a minute here so that it can actually run the process to its end so that you get the full file. So you can still hear it, it's still pumping. Let's actually just stop it for the sake of time. And then it will open up in your Super Collider folder, in the Recordings folder. This is all messy, because I, I did a bunch of these. But um, this is the most recent one. So this is what we just made. So let's drag that into Reaper here. I'm using Reaper. So yeah, you can almost see how that how that waveform is breathing based on the the parameters that we put in. So now we can hear how this became. We can hear how that became this. Yeah, it's just, it's so cool. Um, and let me show you, let's, I'm gonna demonstrate kind of where this is in the podcast episode a little bit. Um, one thing I wanna mention is the guitar part I recorded, I recorded it at 48K. Um, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it or ask me or Google it. But um, I recorded the guitar part at 48K, but I think, um, I talked to Juan about this a little bit, and this is sort of going to default to 44.1. And so I actually got a little pitch shifting going on. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but what I had to do was, because I had I have one other musical element in here, actually two other, and I just went into the synthesizer I was using, and I, I just tuned it by ear. Um, it was actually a fun little exercise, like, ooh, this is this is not, you know, a equals 440 so that was kind of fun just but be aware of that um if you want to use sioe without having to deal with that just make sure the recordings that you're putting into the platform into the software is not um at 48k make sure it's at 44.1 so yeah let's listen to just a little bit of how this fits into the podcast and you'll see you'll hear some of the the synthesizer as well belongs to me, the god of earth bellowed at the wavering figure before him. And I, I did a little bit of time warping on some of them, a little bit of pitch shifting on some of them, um, just to get some different sounds and textures. Yeah, 
Yeah, so please do use this really great application, SIOE by Zhuan Park. It's free. I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the comment, the description, or wherever this, this video is going to end up. Um, but yeah, the website's here, zhuanpark.net, if you want to just kind of find it on your own right away. But please do use it. Um, send him any feedback you have on it. He's, he's a really, really nice guy and will appreciate the feedback. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out and enjoying this, this new application with me.